on the 12th of june 1975 the allahabad high court judgment had come i was at that time in taj hotel in bombay just uh, a couple of minutes after 10 o'clock i got a call from delhi from my brother vijay kumar who informed me that he had just heard on all india radio that the high court had set aside ms gandhi's election and had also disqualified her for 6 years Alkiwala had represented Mrs Gandhi he was saying that there would be a lot of instability if you don't grant a clear stay order and you stay the high court judgment i on the other hand argued that mrs gandhi had been found guilty of perjury but in the judgment of justice jagmohan lal sinha because he had clearly recorded a finding that all her answers were not truthful and therefore how could a person who had lied in her court in her own country could be allowed to continue as prime minister and therefore no stay order should be granted thereafter when the next day the judgment came the judgment did not grant her an absolute stay order as was being asked for by na palkiwala but it also granted a partial stay order denying my contention that no stay order should be granted it was at that time when the demand was made for a resignation by jayaprakash narayan that she could think of nothing else for her continuance except to give a shock treatment to the indian people by imposing an emergency and taking away all the fundamental rights of the people and claiming that even right to life or liberty could not be could was not there during emergency i had also argued before krishna i uh, that uh, india had lots of leaders and therefore nobody was indispensable as prime minister when jawahar lal was prime minister people used to say what will happen after jawahar lal but after jawahar lal another successful prime minister came lal bahadur shastri and therefore now it is being said that after indira gandhi there would be chaos i said india is a country consisting of millions of leaders can't we find another person to replace mrs gandhi 